Hi, I'm Pete from DanceMidiSamples.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a looped synth pad sampler instrument in Apple Logic's EXS24 sampler. Now, there are loads of sample libraries out there and some of those don't come with loop points built into the samples themselves. This can be really annoying if you want to play sustained notes, say like a chord sequence or whatever. Luckily, the EXS24 has a handy crossfade function that will help you create seamless loops in your synth pads in no time at all. First off, either sample a pad from your favourite synth or open a pad sound you like from your favourite sample library and we'll get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to launch Logic and we're going to open an instance of the EXS24 sampler. First off, we're going to hit the edit button located here on the right hand side of the front panel. This will then bring up the EXS instrument editor screen. This is the main control screen for your samples. What we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop our selected synth pad sample into this window. This will automatically create a new zone for your sample. So I've created one here and I'm just going to drag it in. And you can see that that's created a new zone. If you know the key of your sample, you can add that into the pit section under key. I know that I've sampled this pad under C3, so I've entered it here. Now it's a good idea to save your instrument and the quickest way to do that is just to press the red button at the top and we can save it and we're just going to say EXS pad test whatever you like. If we play this it's not going to be particularly inspiring. <laughs> And it certainly doesn't loop. And yeah, that's not great. We're going to go ahead and create a sample loop point. The best way to create a nice sounding seamless loop is to load up your sample in an audio editor. I've got the same sample loaded up in Adobe Audition. And what I've done is I've created a selection which looks like it might loop nicely. And I have Audition set to Samples as the time frame. And you can see the selection points. I've got the start and end points here. Now make a note of these points because these are going to be pretty important when we put them into the EXS. Let's head back to Logic. And we're going to hit Edit again. We're going to press View and Zone Loop. Now this brings up the loop section for the instrument. So let's turn the loop on and we are going to copy those settings into the EXS24. So I'm going to just put that into there. So the start point and the end point. Now I've entered the start and end point of the loop. Let's play it now. Now you can hear that's clicking, so it's not looping very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a crossfade. Now what that's going to do is it's going to fade in and out the ends of that loop and make it sound more natural. Let's increase the crossfade. Let's say, I don't know, 500 samples. Still sounds a little bit unnatural. Let's double that. And you can experiment with the exponential function here. Sometimes that helps, sometimes it doesn't. Worth a try. You can hear that that sounds much more natural. You can also experiment with your start and end points if things aren't sounding great. We're sounding pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and save again. 
Now let's add some settings to the XS24 to uh, make our pad sound a little bit more natural. I'm going to add some release and plenty of attack. That's sounding pretty good. Another great little trick here is to use the EXS24's unison function and add a little bit of random. Now what that's going to create is a little bit of movement, a little bit of depth, and it's going to just make your sound a little bit more natural. There we go, that is how to create a looped synth pad using a single sample in Logic EXS24. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Remember to visit us at dancemidisamples.com for lots of free sounds, uh, quick tutorials, and of course, loads and loads of uh, sample packs, synth presets, and all kinds of other stuff. Take care, and till the next time.